Hey everybody, this is Glenn Garns. I'm here with Coupon Kelly of Coupons Decoded, and we're taking you on the deep dive into what it means to be a coupon insider. So in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about coupon ethics. This is the rules that make you a good coupon citizen, so that you're always welcome wherever you go. So Kelly, we want to talk about three things. I think that the first one is going to be what? Fraud. Okay, so we want to... Fraud is a bad, bad word, so bad, we want to make sure we stay away from fraud. So tell us what you mean by fraud and how to avoid it. Fraud, you are able to print legally two coupons per device. So if you have a laptop, an iPad, a desktop, an iPhone, print two times. Some may allow you to have one more, but two is pretty much the limit. Do not photocopy those coupons because each coupon has identifying numbers on the top right and the bottom left. The store, if you use photocopied coupons, the store will not get paid. So what you're saying is that you're committing fraud because the coupons that you're printing and copying are not going to be redeemable with the manufacturer when the store goes back to do that and they actually consider that to be theft. Yes, and, it's, and you can get prosecuted for that. But is there a way for you to do it legitimately? Call your friends, call your family, call your coworkers, um, anybody that you know that has a computer or a smartphone, a, a device, and give them back some products. I mean, if I'm going and I'm getting 24 cans of deodorant or shaving cream for free, and they help me get those coupons, you're getting some free shaving cream. So what you're basically saying is that as long as the coupons have a unique Ni code on them, yep. you can use them even if your friends have printed them out for you right. because they are going to be redeemable by the, by the store exactly. when they send them to the manufacturer. Exactly. Okay. Well, that's fair enough. So there's a way to, there's a way to legitimately Le do it. Yes. It takes a little extra effort, but it keeps you out of hot yeah. water. Call all hands on deck. I need a coupon. Very good. Very <laughs> good. Now, the next principle was not clearing, clearing the, the shelves. shelves. Yeah, that's just rude. Okay, so tell us what that means. I don't, that if means if I'm when not there's a good that. deal and, you, and you're and you so excited to get that deal and you go in the, in the store and there's none on the shelf. Someone beat you to it. They didn't leave you anything. So some deals you literally could wipe out the inventory Entire. that's in the store mm -hmm. because of how generous the, the discount is. Exactly. Especially if it's, a, if it's a, one where you're getting things for free by mm -hmm. just having the coupon. So what you're saying is don't, don't put do yourself that. in a position to do it. That. That's just rude. Leave four or six on the shelf. Call ahead. Let the store know that you want 40 of them or how many you want and have them pre-order it and have it ready for you when you get to the store. So if, so if you call the store ahead of time, they will have sufficient inventory on mm -hmm. site for you to yeah. be able to redeem your coupons. Exactly. And you don't have to clear it out and, and disappoint other customers. Right. Very ask good. for a rain check if they are unable to do it. Ask them for a rain check and if they'll give you the same price as what the sale is. Or ask them if there's any extra in the back. They may have some in the back. They okay. may tell you that you know the, the next door in the next city or down the street may have some. You could run down there and get them. Very good. Very good. So the last principle that we want to talk about is when you get to checkout, what do you do to be respectful to people behind you when you know you've got a lot of coupon transactions? I always tell them that it's going to take a little bit because I have a lot of coupons and I'm there. I watch everything being scanned. I watch all the coupons being scanned to make sure that the exact amount is coming off. So I tell them that it's going to be a while that they may want to jump into a different lane. But I've had a few say, no, I'm going to stay here and watch you. They want to learn along right. with you. Those are the smart ones, right? Yeah, I've had a couple like, oh my goodness. Very good. That's cool. So again, folks, three rules. Don't commit fraud. Print to your limit. Get some help from friends and family members if you need more. And be sure you don't clear the shelves. Plan ahead, call the store ahead of time and ask them to reserve enough inventory for you to be able to walk in without clearing the shelves. That's respectful to the store and to the other customers. And of course, mm -hmm. when you get to the cash register, be sure to let people know behind you that they may want to pick a different register because you're going to be a little bit of a little bit of time there, and you may find that you make some new friends by showing them what you're doing. But on that note, you want to make sure that as you follow the ethics rules, that you are also getting the maximum savings possible when you shop. So I want you to go over to couponkelly.com.
www.couponkelly.com. And be sure to take advantage of, of the Coupon Insiders Club. Kelly wants you to have this information, and mm -hmm. she's created an ebook valued at $20 yep. that she's giving away for free just for you to have the ability to have access to her. So get on the mailing list, join the Coupon Insiders, and get that free ebook that teaches you these principles. And then on the website itself, there are loads of other videos just like this one that are guiding you step by step through what you need to know. You'll also find on the website Kelly's Done For You Deals program where she literally lays out her blueprint for what you need to do to experience savings on a variety of deals that she creates in advance. So if you want to have the effect of having Kelly standing next to you as you shop, sign up for her Done For You Deals program. It's only $20 a month and you're going to save an average of $150 a month or more when you shop. Now let me ask you a question. If I gave you $150 every time you gave me 20, how many times would you want to do that? The answer is every time, of every course. Every time. So be sure that you take advantage of all of this. Go over to couponkelly.com right now and get on the mailing list, get the ebook, watch the rest of the video series to make sure you're learning these principles. You can watch them as many times as you need. So obviously, get over there and learn this stuff. And more importantly, be sure to reach out to Kelly or get the Done For You Deals program in place so that you can shorten your learning curve and assure that you're saving the maximum you're eligible for. I'm here to help you. Very good. Well, thanks a lot. Be sure to watch the next video. There's plenty more coming.